Hello, what I foos? This is James, and during the night, Bandit Keith stole in and snatched away any hope of a Cyber Dragon EX structure deck by giving us uh, this full metal Desperado, this greasy metallic destroying, instead of the bright, shining cyber future, we're stuck in the wild, wild west 200 years ago shooting each other with ammunition guns. Um, and I know, I know I said Cyber Dragon EX structure deck, Cyber Dragon has no engine, Cyber Dragon has no support. Konami's going to bump that up with an EX structure deck this week. I was right about the timing. I was wrong about the contents of the EX structure deck. And this is why I don't try to predict the decks, because Konami will just throw whatever out there, and if it's too strong, they can just hit it on the ban list. Uh, you know, within potentially a month, I don't think that that's going to happen for this deck. But that's not why we're here. We're here to an answer an important question. Is the Full Metal Desperado structure deck worth 1,000 of your hard grinded gems? Well, with each copy of the Full Metal Desperado structure deck, you get four new cards, four brand new cards that we've never had in Duel Links before. And then you also get uh, some box super rare, so that's not the worst thing in the world. All right, so our new cards are Gen X Ally Crusher. Once per turn, when a monster with the same attribute as this card is normal summoned to your side of the field, you can select one card, your opponent controls, and destroy it. So, Gen X Ally Crusher set. Inishi attacks into it. Inishi does not overcome. Gen X Ally Crusher it flips up. You can normal summon your Blast Spider and then get some extra value. Um, this will mostly not ever happen, ever, ever, ever. Eats of your normal summon very slow. If you can use it, it's very strong, but it's very specific. I don't love it unless we have a way to special summon Gen X Ally Crusher, which we might. Um, Machina Armored Unit. Once per turn, when a machine type monster is destroyed by Batoru and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one. Machine type monster from your deck that has the same attribute and less attack than the destroyed monster in the graveyard. So, uh, your Desperado Barrel Boy, if he is destroyed, you can go into this. You can go into Blast Spooter. You can go into uh, Little Bro, just regular, regular old fashioned Barrel Dragon. You can special summon Gen X Ally Power Cell. Oh, you know what? So maybe you might want one uh, i mean that could and it's kind of slow you have to because that's to be destroyed by battle and then that's not great with like desperado barrel dragon and we'll we'll talk about why so another new card desperado barrel baggio if face up dark machine type monster control is destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon this card from your hand once per turn during the battle phase quick effect you can toss a coin three times destroy a face up monsters on the field up the number of heads then if the result was three heads draw one card so that's a one in eight chance of that happening not reliable if this uh this card cannot attack the turn this effect is activated okay i mean that's fair because uh you can your opponent can destroy your gen x ally power cell they can destroy your jinzo desperado battle dragon comes out and during their battle phase desperado battle dragon can destroy the number of face-up monsters equal to the number of coin flips. However, it is a mandatory destruction effect. If you get three coin flips, you do get that sweet draw, but you do also have to destroy three face-up monsters on the field. You must destroy it. So if your opponent has two monsters and you have one Desperado Barrel Dragon, Desperado Barrel Dragon must destroy itself. And that's why, you know, Machina Armor Unit, I don't have great faith in for the purposes of this guy. Because it can't be used to, like, you know, protect in a way against his own effect. Um, but I think that if it's destroyed by its own effect and you have another in your hand, that's pretty good. And, as we're already seeing, you can use Life Point Boost Alpha and Card of the Soul. 5,000 total life points, 5,000 attack plus defense 
uh, you can search up a lot of Desperado Barrel Dragons. So if you're going early, uh, early in the game, you can have six Desperado Barrel Dragons waiting for your pleasure. Oh wait, but I think you can only activate one card of the soul per turn. Regardless, that's how we're going to get that sweet gameplay. And then, the card I'm really truly excited about. BM4 Blast Spooter. Once per turn, you can target one Dark Machine type monster you control and one face-up card your opponent controls. Destroy them. If a monster you control was originally a Dark Machina type monster, destroys opponent's monster by battle card effect and sends it to the graveyard. You can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of one of those monsters destroyed and sent to the graveyard. You can only use this effect of BM Blast Spider once per turn. So that can potentially be a big burn, but you can use it on your own. Like, you can't buff up your own Spiral Dragon, blow him up. Uh, it has to be the opponent's monster. So you buff up the opponent's monster, blow him up with a Desperado Barrel Baggio, and then uh, you can get a big burn. And I like Blast Spider because he can work by himself, and then he can work in conjunction with other cards. Uh, obviously, Blast Spider, destroy opponent's monster, destroy itself, get Desperado Barrel Dragon, but that's a two-card combo. That's not always reliable. Uh, you can also, and then, right, it has the it has the burn effect. Um, so then, Ma Blast Spider combos with Gen X Ally Crusher, uh, combos with Blowback Dragon. Blowback Dragon comes off a of Machina Armor unit. Uh, Gen X pow Ally Power Cell, you're probably not going to use him. But... Is it worth a thousand gems, a thousand of your hard-earned gems? Well, let's look at Return of the Red Eyes. Was this worth the gems? Yes, it was. Even with only one Red Eyes Fusion, you could search it up with Red Eyes Insight Easy Peasy. One Neos Fusion. Absolutely, for the Neos fanboys, there's plenty of Neos. Other stuff, even if you only have one Neos. Even Ancient Gear Awakening. Very strong... Uh, Gear Town can be destroyed by anything, and then you can pull out a very worth monster, Ancient Gear Reactor Baggio. But what about Full Metal Desperado? Well, if you're asking me the question of, is it worth a thousand gems, I make an assumption about you. I make the assumption that you have limited gems, you have limited resources to expend on Duel Links, and therefore, I must say, it's not worth it. It is not worth the thousand gems now i'm not saying these cards are bad i'm not saying that these cards are not worth and konami should not have added them and that they're, that they're a waste of time i think they're very interesting i look forward to playing with them but it's not splashable if you want to use your desperado barrel dragon you're using dark machine type monsters and that's all uh or you know dark machine type monsters plus neos if you're using BM4 Blast Spider, you're using Dark Machine type monsters. And that's it. Alright? So basically, Cyber Darks or Yaiba Robo. But mostly Cyber Darks and Jinzos. That's going to be your deck for this. It's not going to be anything else. And also, if you're not having. Oop, got to move away from the green screen. If you don't have, uh, you know, three of the Desperado Barrel Dragon in a deck that's built... Like, Desperado Barrel Dragon, a, a boss monster for your Cyber Darks. If you don't have three of him, it's... I, you know, I mean, it's fine. It's just... Yeah, I guess if you... Yeah, that would be the case. If you really, really, really love Cyber Darks, you want to make a deck based around Cyber Darks, Thousand Gems... There it is, but um, if you're if you're interested in building all kinds of different decks, I think a thousand gems you get more fun out of twenty packs out of the next box or this box than just going for this one boss monster that again is only going to work for maybe for cyber darks and maybe something with Jinzo. So like one and a half decks is works with Desperado Barrel Dragon, and the rest of them. Um, don't because again this is specific to a, an attribute and and a type that being said i gotta make the contents so let's get let's get this bread uh yes please mm-hmm off the rise 
And what do we get? We get any... We got a glossy blowback. We got a glossy... Ugh, mechanical chaser. Oh my god. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's get one Nuzza. Now, people often ask, why, why do you not spend gems? Why do you spend money on the deck? Uh, because in the long run, it's better to spend the gems on main boxes after you've bought the sales. Uh, outside of the sales, main uh, just pack cards get very, very expensive. Um, so I would rather use them trying to get main box ultra rares and just spend the extra seven bucks to for these guaranteed ultra rares. And you know, that's the justification behind a bunduru. All right, last one. Prisma, please. Come on. Prisma Barrel Dragon. Prisma Big Baggio. What do we get? No! All right, so that has been our pack opening. Uh, stream will be up shortly after this video is posted. Thank you for watching.